All right, showbiz. Hey, Miss Jean's here. Hello, Miss Jean. Hi. So, 10 years ago, I remember very well that I joined the numerous uh, or the number of, number of Ghanaians to go to uh, the National Theatre to watch Perfect Picture. Okay. It was one of uh, Shelley Fim Paul Manso's production after the Scorn movie. And I think she did that live and live in it, and then we had Perfect Picture. I can't believe it's 10 years already. It is. So for those of you who were born 10 years ago and who didn't see Perfect Picture, here's what I'm talking about. I'm a big fan of weddings, but you, my dear friend, make it worth every pet. This April, three friends will take you on a journey about love, laughs, and lies. Sparrow Productions presents a heartwarming romantic comedy that brings back fairy tales. Jackie Appear, Lydia Forsen, Na Ashoko Mensa Doku, Ajite Anang, Nana Kwame Ose Sapong, Chris Atto, and introducing KSM, The Perfect Picture. All right, so 10 years on. 10 years on, a lot has happened, even to the cast, a lot has happened to you and I, and uh, we are going to have a sequel to Perfect Picture, okay. and it's called Perfect Picture 2. And so it's going to be with the same cast, there will be some addition, but let's look at those you saw a few minutes ago yeah. today. I won Best Actress from this film for the AMA and for the AMVCA. And um, yes, yeah, so it's very dear to my heart. Um, this movie, I remember when it came out, people couldn't get into the hall. This was, people couldn't sit, people had to come back the next day to watch the film. You could not get into the cinema that day. Um, we all won Best Actress for the film for the AMA. Shirley said in her presentation that um, one of the things this movie talks about is the issue of childlessness and through my work in the media and on Joy FM Strong and Sassy that I host, I've had opportunity to talk to a lot of women who are struggling with um, having children and it's something that we don't talk about enough, it's something that we shy away from. So thank God for this film and thank God for an opportunity to out and talk about some of these things in the way they ought to be talked about. When I think of this movie and how it was made 10 years ago, and how we're all very young and sometimes even a little bit immature. It comes at a perfect time because I think we are the best moments in our life in terms of our craft, uh, who we are as women. Even the way we interpret you know, characters has changed. It's been that's even long overdue, I would say, because um, we, all, we all know the history of Perfect Picture 1 and for us to come back to, you know, more or less um, rekindle that spirit again. It's 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 really exciting for me, um, and the fact that now it's it's taking a rather global stage, if you will. And so for us to come together to do it for Africa, um, it's, it's it's a blessing to be a part of this. Yeah. As compared to Perfect Picture One, I am I really can relate more to the character and the journey that the character goes through because it's. Um, um, the journey is a bit personal, and, and I'm sure when you see the movie, you understand why. Um, and so I see myself in the character and the kind of challenges that he faced, and the fact that, you know, it makes people sit up and realize that like, there are things that we don't talk about. All right, looking forward to seeing it. Yes, yes, yes. So this is... Two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to tell you that uh, we're going to have a lot more people joining. Okay. Apart from Ghanaians, we have Nigerians joining as well. But first off, before you see which Nigerians are joining the Perfect Picture 2, let's listen to why Shelley Frimpo Manso and the Sparrow Production are thinking of having other nationals join. Today, especially with some of the actors who are here today, and it's been quite a journey. It's been difficult. We've had our highs and our lows. You know, and unfortunately, we feel like 10 years ago, the industry was probably seemed like in a better place than we are today, unfortunately. I've asked myself a million times, okay, after every bad day, I'm thinking, I'm going to stop this and do what? <laughs> you know, there's nothing else really. I mean, this is my passion. This is what I love. I, I love this. What we are looking to do is to broaden the scope. We want to be able to tell, we want to be able to make African movies and not necessarily the men movies. Because, you know, the Oscars are calling, other big festivals are calling, you know, people are telling bigger stories and that's what we are looking to do. It's not enough to tell the Ghanaian story anymore. 
you know, our histories are intertwined. Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, you know, so we need to be able to, to broaden our stories and that's what we're attempting to do. All right, okay. so we have RMD featuring in Perfect Picture. We have Beverly Naya and then Gideon Okeke. These are the Nigerians who will be featuring in... Oh, Gideon Okeke. So he was in town recently. He's in town, actually. He RMD is, is in town. town. And also, we have Beverly in town. RMD, tomorrow we have a conversation. But first off, let's hear RMD, who is filming for the first time in Ghana. All right. I'm glad I'm dealing with the best. And I'm, I'm among friends and family. Uh, and I'm going to make new ones. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to the experience. Um, and I'll do it uh, again if you let me come back. <laughs> so for me as well, it's my first time working in Ghana. And it's definitely a huge privilege being here because um, for many reasons. One, Accra is one of my favorite cities in the world, honestly. And two, Working with Shirley has always been something that I've wanted to do. You know, I think she's an amazing director, and I've loved her work for many years. So I'm really happy that my first project in Ghana is with Shirley Frimpong, and I think it looks really great on my CV as well. Okay, okay. so it looks yeah. like... Yeah, it looks like uh, an interesting cast and we will get something really great Please out of it. Please cast them. Israel Ai. Let him come do something in this movie. We've been looking for a movie role for Israel. So he can actually play Bruce Wilson Jr. He actually looks like him. So Why should I play Bruce Wilson Jr.? I should play myself. Oh, yeah, you look like him, so they can use you for a replacement since he's on retirement. Anyway, okay. so it looks so like what it's, else? A, it's a Ghana-Nigerian thing. Right, so, so once what? the Ghanaians are crossing over, the Nigerians are here, let's also take our comedy yeah. to Nigeria. And one of the people, I've been telling you about Obi and who went to the Lord of the Ribs. I told you how the conversation went yeah. before the Lord of the Ribs. But he has a bit of his performance at, in Lagos that got people clapping. Oh, wow. He was applauded. See, Ghanaian ladies, African ladies, Nigerian ladies, everybody, please, we know you are beautiful, so take your time on the makeup. <laughs> now we cannot play girls games with you. You know, earlier you could sneak up on a lady and cover her face, right? And say, girls, girls, girls. You dare not try that. <laughs> take them one hour to apply foundation. <laughs> and you, out of the way, say, hey, take off that your stupid hand. <laughs> take off your stupid hand, your stupid hand is full of paint. <laughs> like, baby, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> it's crazy. And there's this thing now, ladies, you wear, I don't know how you call it. In Ghana, we call it bulletproof vest. How do you call it here? <laughs> What's it? Waist trainers, right? Why do you guys worry yourself that much? You meet a lady, she cannot breathe. <laughs> like, baby, are you okay? Are you asthmatic? Why do you guys suffer like that? And it gives you guys some high pitched soprano voice. You meet a lady, I met one lady, I was like, hey, how are you? Like, oh, I'm fine. I'm like, what? Is that your voice? Like, yeah. So what, what's your name? My name is Anita. I'm like, wow. I took Anita home. <laughs> Anita took off her waist trainers. I was like, baby, should I get you something from there? Yeah, get me some juice. <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> what happens uh, when I take off my waist trainers? My real voice comes in. How does your voice change from Celine Dion? To don't judge in two seconds. My name is Obi Amkosa, ladies and gentlemen. I love you, Nigeria. <laughs> okay, how does your name change from... Selling Dion, Dion to Don, Don Jazzy, Jazzy in, in two, two seconds. seconds, you know. But Nigerian love well, it. your voice hasn't changed that. No, I'm not in wish trainers. So maybe the next time I'll try it, you know. But this is exaggerated, actually. Thank you very much for is having it? me. Is it? Is oh. it? Is it? I never speak like that in wish trainers. <laughs> Please, I don't. I don't. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. G, for bringing us uh, showbiz. Uh,